Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another Head Rush How To. In this one, I want to do something uh, for probably more newer users to modelers in general and specifically the Head Rush pedal board. Um, just a quick tutorial on how to add and load impulse responses uh, to your board and uh, what to do with them afterwards, just really quickly. Um, you always see me using low and high cuts um, with like the Leon Todd IRs that I use. Um, I'm going to use a couple of different ones today and just show you what I do and why. Um, so the first thing you have to do is you have to connect your head rush to a PC. So the included, um, it's like a printer style uh, USB cord that came with your head rush. You want to plug that into um, whatever computer you've got. And then from there, you tap on this little menu here. And we're going to go to global settings. And then tap that menu again and from there hit usb transfer you're going to see all this happening and that screen uh, and you should be connected and uh let's just get some some screen capture going on my pc here um so just open up your um your file browser and you can see the head rush is actually a drive um amongst your list of drives, whatever you've got connected to your computer. So we're going to click on that and you're greeted with uh, this stuff stored on the head rush. Um, so basically, uh, pretty self-explanatory. You want to go into the impulse responses folder. Uh, you can see I've already got um, a bunch of stuff loaded up that I, I don't use most of this to tell you the truth. Um, especially now that I'm playing more through power amps. Um, but from there, you want to go to, so you, wherever you've saved the impulse responses you just received or bought, however you got them. Uh, I think Head Rush users are still getting uh, the two free ones from Celestion, um, which aren't bad, honestly. They're, they're not bad IRs, especially for the cost of uh, nothing. Um, so I'm just going to find where I've got those. And that is going to be in this Head Rush pedal board folder that I made, IRs. And uh, I want to add some stuff that I don't yet have on my Head Rush. So this screen here is my Head Rush's uh, storage. Um, so I'm going to go into the Impulse Responses folder. And I want to copy over some acoustic impulse responses for use with acoustic guitar. So um i don't want to bring over the mac os version so i'm gonna make a new folder on the head rushes storage and just call it acoustic all right uh so you don't have to put them in these in this default user folder that the head rush comes with um actually i recommend that you don't it's it's cleaner looking if you don't um it actually doesn't support folders within folders um so there's no point anyway uh, so just keep your impulse responses organized in folders of, of your own making. Um, but from there, I'm going to select, I'm going to audition some acoustic impulse responses soon. So I'm going to copy all of these. I found these for free online. Um, I'll probably put a link up to share them in my, uh, my video on the acoustic simulator or something along those lines. Um, so I'm going to go into the acoustic folder I made and just paste those over. So pretty simple stuff. Uh, Im impulse responses are tiny. Uh, it happens really quickly. Um, but I'm not done yet. I want to also add um, the Celestion impulse responses. And that's just these two files in a folder on their own. So I'm going to copy that whole folder over. Alright. And we are done. Um, that is all I'm looking to add there. And uh, now we're ready to disconnect. So uh, there's some talk on this on, on how to disconnect the Head Rush pedal board from your computer. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do the whole eject USB device thing. Um, I never do because my crappy laptop um, won't let me anyway. It always says that whatever device it is, whether it's my um, all of my external hard drives that I have, or, or anything, it always says that it's being used, but it's not. Um, so on the Headrush pedal board, it is perfectly safe. I've done this dozens of times. Just hit the sync button on the board itself. 
wait for the process to finish and that is it so perfectly safe so um, we are now back at our global settings menu and I've got this rig loaded up here for you it's just a, uh, a JCM base mod rig um, that I use here and there and um, actually you know what we want to hear this so I'm gonna show you quickly how to also connect your head rush to a computer so you still have it physically hooked up you're gonna to go to global settings and you want to turn that USB audio on uh, there's no particular reason why I sample at a 96 um, over 48 it's it's just what I choose to do uh, so anyway USB audio on give it a minute it's gonna say that it's offline until you open the recording software you're using so which in my case is audacity I know I'm not showing you this part, but I'll make a separate video on uh, just hooking your head rush safely up to um, a computer. And uh, it looks like I am all good to go. But um, back to the purpose of this video. So um, I have this great rig dialed up and there is no cab sim or impulse response. And it sounds like this. That's awful. So that is what um, a guitar amp sounds like um, with no EQ filtering from guitar speakers or in our case, impulse responses. Um, basically, Im imagine plugging your guitar amp into um, like a PA speaker. This, this is basically what you would hear. Um, so anyway, so I left this block empty so that we can add an impulse response and we're going to go to custom IR. Um, I always use the 2048 sample rate over the 1024. Um, I'll make a video showing some differences one of these days. Uh, but just know that the 1024 uh, IR is it's, it's shorter in length um, and therefore has a little bit less detail. Um, but it's, it's you with the head rush, there's enough processing power to where you don't need to use 1024. So from there, we're going to go with just default and it defaults always to something whatever it chooses but you need to pick your folder here and we're gonna go with the Celestion ones that we just added and we're gonna do this G12 H75 cream back okay and uh, before you go any further turn the volume down on your head rush first you need to double check your gain staging. When you add an impulse response, they typically come really loud. Um, so you wanna double tap that out block and just see what's going on. And like I said, that is really loud. You can lower that volume into a safe range, either here from the output block or from the impulse response block. And since this video is about impulse responses, we're gonna do it from there. So. I'm going to take that down by about 10 dB and see where we wind up. So check that again. I'm going to do just a tad more. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's do like five more. So we're at minus 15 dB. Not tickling any red or orange or yellow. Um, so we are good to go from there. And now, that sounds like this. That's what that's supposed to sound like. Um, and then just a couple of options you have here. The mix, always leave that on 100%, unless you're playing with some kind of um dual ir crazy stereo thing i never use stereo um so i leave the mix at 100 percent um typical high and low cut starting positions for me with most kind of what i would consider like off the shelf basic impulse responses um i'll start at like 10k right close enough and 80 hertz on the low cut um there's 
you know, premium impulse responses out there by a whole bunch of different people. Um, and what you're seeing a lot in the market right now is kind of like tailored impulse responses, uh, where they, they take care of a lot of the bookend frequencies for you. Um, meaning you don't really have to high and low cut in your modeler itself. Um, but just that's something you need to figure out for yourself Buy whatever you like. But with those cuts applied, that sounds like this. <laughs> Too much low end for me still. I'll bring that up to 100. Um, maybe a little dull. I'll bring the high cut back up to 12k. It's not going to add anything probably really too noticeable um, in the room. But uh, this is just a tad on the dark side. And that sounds like this. I'm going to add a tube screamer in the front of that. <laughs> Um, so say you want to just change that out on the quick, right? Double tap that impulse response. You can go to a whole nother folder or just pick another file within your existing folder. Uh, let's check out this Celestian Creamback Impossible mix. Uh, that comes for free with the head rush. And let's hear that. <laughs> detailed on the uh, the high end I think um, a tiny bit scooped but uh, so let's see let's go with the Lee and Todd ones that I use a lot so you can just travel to a whole nother folder uh, LT for my Lee and Todd impulse responses and we have the Brit 412 let's go with the TV mix 2 that I use a lot this is greenbacks in a 412 cab and you'll notice the gain is changing along with the files themselves um, I think the head rush is kind of trying to keep volume uh, where where we had set it to earlier. Um, how good of a job it does, I don't know. Let's see without changing anything. <laughs> yeah, it got pretty close on its own. So um, what you can do too, so that you don't have to mess with... Uh, um, setting the volume um, for uh, different IRs every time you build a new rig is instead of adjusting the volume uh, in the output block of a rig, you can build one rig and adjust, uh, leave, maybe leave the rig volume right at zero in the output block. And then uh, in the impulse response block, use uh, that gain um, to set a level. And once you've done that, you can hit save and save that as a preset. Um, all you're really concerned with saving is, is the, uh, the stuff on the right side, the high cut, the low cut, the volume. Um, you know, but you can use that. Say you go and make a fender rig. You can load like a fender IR into that and it'll have the same settings on the right side for you. So that's about it. That's all I've got to show you as far as... Um, adding and loading impulse responses to your head rush pedal board. Um, just things to remember, always be really careful about gain staging so that you're not causing digital clipping at any point in your signal um, on the head rush or your listening device, uh, whatever it is that you're playing through. Um, and one of my biggest pieces of advice uh, with impulse responses is try to keep your file system really clean. Uh, a lot of vendors, will include thousands or anywhere from hundreds to thousands of files um, when you buy an impulse response pack from them. Um, it'll take some experience on uh, just kind of 
loading and finding what you need without hearing it first. Uh, but just really keep a clean folder structure and you will spend a lot more time playing instead of messing with menus. Yeah. 